Hey guys, what's up? It's Keebs here and we're back with another video. This is going to be Inter Milan's Conte tactic and as you know they've been ruthless in real life just now. Uh, you know, since the turn of the year they've not quite been as good. I've seen they just lost to Juventus at the weekend but uh, you know, overall this season there's been massive improvements in them and uh, you know, when you bring in a manager like Conte that's to be expected. But as you can see, league table, we're sitting top. Uh, teams blows have got a couple of games in hand but you know, to be sitting seven points ahead of Juventus is a very good achievement. Uh, you can see the stats of some of the players there. You know, Kandreva stand out with 16 assists, Lukaku 14 goals, and we're not even Christmas. It's uh, been re a really good season. And um, considering the way we started, uh, this has been all the one save that I've went with. I haven't restarted saves as I have previously, just to get a full going for the tactic when it's finished. Um, we were getting wins before I made tweaks, but you know I've finally got it in a place where I feel I can release it. I feel I can t bring it to you, and hopefully you can see a lot of success with it. So anyway, on to the tactic. It's a classic three-five-two. You know, um, Conte has liked this his whole career. Nearly, we've seen it at Juventus, Chelsea, and now Inter Milan, and everywhere it's everywhere he's gone has worked. I mean. Recently, where has he gone? And there's not been a reaction from the players. They've not had big games, big wins uh, under him. And it's because of this pragmatic approach that he brings. He's probably one of the best, if not the best, in the world at being able to, you know, bring a tactic to life like this. So we'll just have a look in depth at the tactic just now. So in possession, as you can see, it is a custom control possession tactic. We wanted to go for that because Conte really likes building up through the thirds and then going out wide. Uh, whereas, you know, with the Lazio tactic that we done earlier, you know, a couple of weeks ago, uh, and Zaghi does not mind going direct, he does not mind, you know, the defender pinging it up to striker, whereas Conte, he would much rather, it's defender, Brozovic, and then somewhere else. So, as you can see with that, when we've got the approach play, play out of defence, focus with the lay through middle, that's to make use of that brilliant three in the middle that we'll look at just after this, uh, and then overlap right for Kondreva because his quality is just unbelievable. Everything else stays the same. In transition is where we really tried to make Conte's tactic, Conte's, you know, the stylism of uh, that pragmatic approach and defensive solidness and compactness. So that's why we've got regroup on there. Um, I felt, you know, when we just started it as a custom control position, uh, we did have counter press on with a low pressing uh urgency however didn't work um i know that they do press in new life and uh it's it's very slight is to get them out into the wide areas to keep them contained however it just wasn't working and i felt regroup with you know a pressing urgency of slightly higher really worked well for us and then obviously counter you know you, you see it all the time with Conte's tactics that bomb and run from the full backs up the wing and then you know passing inside to Lukaku or Martinez to finish it off it's been synonymous with him um over the past couple of years and there's no difference with it at Inter. out of possession Again, standard, compact, real defensive shape. You can see there, there's not going to be a lot of room to run about, uh, pass the ball around. Uh, you know, when we have lost games uh, on the tactic, because we have lost games um, this season, um, it's been against good teams, or against teams that have shown a real glimpse of quality and then sat back, which has been our most recent result, which is really frustrating, but we'll get on to that. Uh, as you could say, more urgent pressing in that, uh, you know, regroup tactic really gives for a, a decent low block that just pushes the team out and doesn't allow them much space and you know prevents short keeper distribution which Martinez is extremely good for that so looking at the team and the individual players you've got three at the back which are ball playing defenders um, standard in nowadays game you know but the good thing with this is they look to just lay it off to Brozovic and let him go with it other teams obviously use the full backs, use direct balls like Leipzig, for example, they have ball point defenders that need to have a really good passing range and be able to ping a ball up to the wingers. Inter don't do that very much. They play almost everything through Brozovic, almost like Chelsea with Jorginho. So it's been really well worked in uh, the game how to do that. And also, you know, the support of Asmo and Kondreva and build up has been, you know, very good as well in game and in real life. 
Looking at that three in the middle now, Brozovic, as I said, at the core, he's the pivot in the team. He turns defence into attack, and he really does make good use of the ball. Um, looking at the event is one that I've done, with Pjanic a little bit more forward. I felt if I'd used Brozovic in that position more forward, a lot of his play would have been wasted. Having him in this defensive position allows him to almost always be available and be able to switch play in the clicker button almost, you know. Just putting an overlap left on in possession. If we're struggling down the right, he can really make that happen. Uh, with Asamoa bombing down the wing. So, you know, been very good. Barella is one that I'm really interested in using. I've heard good things about him this FM. As you can see, his current ability and potential for this level is very good. Um, and I, was, I wasn't, you know, disappointed at all using him. His stats-wise, he's been very good. Um, and when you watch him in the highlights as well, he's been brilliant. Um, we do have some uh, instructions in him that we've had from the very start, and that's get further forward and run wide with ball. That's because mainly, uh, you know, we've seen it with Sensi in the first half of the season before Eriksen came in. Those wing backs need support, and it's an overloading the sides of the box. So you have three players on one side, three players on the other, and it really makes defences struggle. So Barella goes up to support Martinez and Kondreva when on the attack. So that's why those uh, instructions are on him. As for Eriksen, we've kept him largely the same for the main reason is he's a middle playmaker. You know, I've seen him play for Inter. I've seen him play for years for Spurs. Uh, and he, he plays through the middle. Uh, if you see him go out wide, you know, now he's it almost looks unfamiliar to him. Um, he drifts wide now and again, but, you know, I just wanted him through the middle, being that little triangle and be able to make passes left, right and centre. Um, simple as that. And he's not disappointed with that. You know, the part I'm pretty sure I think it's second most passes completed he has for us. And it's a really good passing percentage he has. So, you know, been very good. That three in the middle, uh, if you use Inter with this tactic, uh, which I hope some of you do, uh, not just using it as a plug and play because it might not work, uh, which we'll speak about later. Um, but, you know, that three in the middle that I've highlighted, they've been excellent for me. And, uh, you know, we can't complain at all with that. There's no introduction needed for that top two. You know, Lukaku and Martinez, excellent. Uh, you know, uh, 12 goals for Martinez and then I think it's like 14 for Lukaku. Yeah, 14. So, you know, six, 26 goals between them. There's no complaints there. That's, that's what you're looking for from a striker partnership to be a lot of your goals scored from them. And uh, th there's an obvious way of where a lot of them come from, and that's through that man, Kondreva, with 16 assists, you know, bombing down the wing, playing low balls across, whipped crosses into Lukaku. It's been excellent. So if we just go and look, a take a quick look at the stats. So if we go for... We'll go for the last match. Uh, where are we? No. Well, actually, we'll look at the Derby game. If we look at stats. So... With a lot of touches in the opposition area, uh, as you can see, you know, it's it's a really good tactic for being able to work the ball into the box. Um, the attacking side of it has been very good, and uh, you know, you can't complain at all about what we've done. Um, just want to point out, conceding goals from outside the box, we very rarely actually do this. Um, not just this game, but you know. It's very rare we concede from outside the box this tactic. That's mainly because we use a low block um, with a, a press that a lot of the goals we do score are real quality goals. And uh, the games that we've lost, like Juventus, Liverpool uh, and Lecce of all teams, Juventus and Liverpool, they just had too much quality on the day. Lecce, they defended really well. And we couldn't do anything about that. But I just wanted to point that out with the long-range shots, which has been an issue for me a lot of the times in FM tactics this year, that they aren't too effective because of the way they defend in this. So there were quite a few issues with building this tactic, uh, one of which being... The fact that I kept the same save, you know, I've got the tactic to the point that it is just now, um, from building it up from the ground. Um, we started off with a control possession tactic and brought in a lot of features. We tried to change it a lot to try and make it the Conte's, but I'll always try and make it as close to working in FM as I can. If not, you know, with the UV one, we completely dominated. I, I would almost call that a plug and play tactic at this point. Uh, having my friends tested it now and 
other creators. So, you know, that one's really good. And then with this one, I wouldn't say so. Mainly because it's built for this team. You know, the Sari Ball Vertical Tiki Taka was built as an offensive, powerful tactic. This one is built solely on Conte's style and, you know, his alone for this team and for the, this set of players, you know. Um, Asamoah works well as a wing-back support, but if you were to go to, say, Napoli, you know, I don't think uh, Gulam or uh, anyone like that would be able to do well on that left side uh, the same way as he would. So, you know, it, it really is a tactic if you're using anyone with outside uh, an Inter or, a, you know, I think it would probably work at, you know, maybe an Atletico Madrid, but anyone outside a defensively based team would take some work to get this tactic working, which there's nothing wrong with, you know, it is a recreation of Conte's tactic that I've brought to you today, so there is nothing wrong with that, but I'm just giving it a slight warning that don't expect to download this, put it into your game and get results instantly. It's not going to how it's, it's not how it's going to work, um, I'm afraid. But um, as I say, if you can get it working, it's a very, very solid tactic. Another issue was in defence. Um, I felt that De Vrij was taking far too much time in the ball for having the defenders right next to him to pass to, and it was really frustrating to watch. So what I've actually done is both centre-halves, as you'll have seen in other, some other tactics, uh, I put them on stay wider. Now, the reason I didn't do this is because of how compact Conte's defence is. However, to get it working in FM... For the passing, stay wider, really done the trick here, and it means that there's a lot of passing side to side, and also encourages you know overlapping with the two full backs and um, providing a, a modern touch on the Conte tactic that doesn't really exist, but you know it's getting it working that was the main thing, and that's what we've done. So anyway, guys, that's been the tactic. This is Inter's Conte, and uh, as I said, it won't be a plug and play. Um, you do need to work on it if it is a team outside. Dinner, but you know I'm sure you'll enjoy it so the download will be down in the description and this has been Keebs and thanks for coming see you in the next one cheers